Alright, back with chapter 11 talks about this. David and Bathsheba. In the spring of the year, the time when kings go out to battle, David sent Job and his servants with him in all Israel. And they ravaged the Ammonites from Jordan and besieged Rabbah, but David remained in Jerusalem. And it happened late one afternoon when David arose from his couch and was walking on the roof of the king's house that he saw from the roof a woman bathing. And the woman was very beautiful, and David sent and inquired about the woman, and one day it, and one day said, Is not this the Sheba, the daughter of Elam, the wife of Uriah the Hittite? So David sent the messengers and took her. She came to him, and he, and he lay with her, meaning he had sex with her. He committed adultery by having sex with a married woman. Which is a big no-no. Now she had been purifying herself from her uncleanness, then she, meaning she was on her period, and she was in... In, in the tub or in the bath, um, you know, bathing herself and trying to get clean from that. And then um, David seen her out in the bathtub, or he seen, seen her out, in, seen her out in the bath, and um, told her, told his his servants to go out and get her so they could have sex with her. But this is a married woman, man. You don't do that. And he commits adultery, and you see later on, God gets really ticked off him about that. Um, it says then then she returned to her house and the woman conceived I mean she had she had a child and she went and told David I am pregnant so David sent word to Job sent send me Uriah the Hittite and Job said or and Job sent Uriah to David when you and when Uriah came to him David asked how Job was doing and how the people were doing and how the war was going and David said to Uriah go down to your house and wash your feet. And Uriah went out to the king's house, and there followed him a present from the king. But Uriah slept at the door of the king's house with all the servants of his lord, and did not go down to his house. When they told David, Uriah did not go down to his house, David sent, said, to, to, uh, said to Uriah, Have you not come from, the, from a journey? Why did you not go down to your house? Uriah said to David, The ark in Israel and Judah dwell in, bo dwell in booths. And my lord Job and the servants of my lord are camping in the open, Field. Shall I then go to my house to eat and to drink and to lie with my wife? As you live and as your soul lives, I will do. I will not do this thing. Then David said to, said to Uriah, Remain here today also, and tomorrow I will send you back. So Uriah remained in Jerusalem that day, and the next David invited him, and he ate in his presence and drank, so that he made him drunk. So David, so David um, gave Uriah so much liquor, so much alcohol, made him drunk or wine pretty much <clears throat> he did it purposely in the evening he went out to lie on his couch with the servants of his lord but he did not go down to his house in the morning David wrote a letter to Job and sent it by the hand of Uriah and the letter he wrote set Uriah in the forefront of the hardest fighting and then draw back from him that he may be struck down and die and as Job was besieging the city he assigned Uriah to the place where he knew this, there, was a, there were valiant men and the men of that city came out and fought with Job, and some of the servants of David among the people fell. Uriah the Hittite also died. Then Job sent and told David all the news about the fighting, and instructed the messenger, When you have finished telling all the news and fight, and about the fighting of the king, then if the king's anger rises, and if he said and, and if he says to you, Why did you not? Or why did you go to? Why did you go so near the city to fight? Did you not know that they would shoot from the wall, meaning arrows? Who killed Amalek, the son of Jerobus? Did, did, did not a woman cast an upper millstone on him from the wall, so that he died at Thebes? Why did you go so near the wall? Then you shall say, Your servant Uriah the Hittite is dead also. The messenger went and came and told David all that Job had sent to him uh, to tell. The messenger said to David, The men gained an advantage over us and came out against us in the field, but, but we drove them back to the entrance of the gate. Then the archers shot, and your servants from the wall. Some of the king's servants are dead, and your, and your servant Uriah, the Hittite, is, is dead also. And David said to the messenger, Thus shall you say to Job, Do not let this matter trouble you, for the sword devours now one and now another. Strengthen your attack against the city, and overthrow it, and encourage him. When the wife of Uriah heard that Uriah, her husband, was dead, she lamented or cried over her husband. And when the mourning was over, or meaning after she had cried, David sent and brought her to his house, and she became his wife and bore him a son. The thing that David had done displeased the Lord, because David had committed 
sexual sin. He um, committed adultery. Um, he swelled. He, he had sex with a married woman. And he, you know, in, in Jewish times here in the Old Testament, and on, they may still do this in, in Israel now. If you are guilty of adultery here in the here in the Old Testament, they would stone you to death. Now I don't, I don't know if they do that now in Israel or not, but they would they would kill you for that because because it's a sin um, to sleep with a married woman. That's this is a big no no, man. They don't you don't do stuff like that. It clearly goes against God's word. That's why God hates it. But um, but that's chapter eleven, pretty much. Um, about uh, David sleeping, David sleeping with a married woman. He gets her pregnant, and then David gets afraid, pretty much, and then sends her husband Uriah into battle so that he can die, so that whenever he dies, he can then um. Because then Bathsheba would be a widow, so then David can can marry her. But but the sins already been done. God's pretty ticked off now, and you'll see here in um in tw in, in twelve, the next video what happens. I'll be right back with that here in a minute.